my red knob retina has been perfect for me, um, but when I went ahead and got it for my daughter, that's when I really noticed a huge shift uh, in her energies and mm -hmm. in her life. Mm -hmm. um, we got it for her when she was 14, mm -hmm. and she is about, um, well, she just turned 17. Her Mars period started in December of 2010. She started to do better with the Navratna almost immediately, but I've really seen a huge exponential growth in her personality and um, in her life, in her academics, in her, you know, the way she handles herself, the way she's handling life. Um, she's blossomed into uh, like a child, that, you know, if you, I could take a wish list and say, okay, this is what I want right, my yeah. child to be like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She was very timid and yeah. she was kind of shy and she had, um, she was struggling with school. And um, she was also, um, one of the things that would happen to her is that she would cry. Mm -hmm. And um, she, she was having um, a lot of growing pains. Mm -hmm. And um, right now she is um, I, what I consider somebody who's even ahead of me. She's right. very together. Yeah. Yeah. She knows what she wants. Mm -hmm. um, she has uh, a grasp and understanding beyond what a normal 17 year would Right, sure. She has yeah. the understanding of somebody who I would consider to be at least 45 years old. Uh, like a straight A student basically, mm -hmm. okay. And she, um, she'll stay up and do her homework. Has she time. gone through a period where she hasn't been wearing it? No. Right now? Oh, so uh, she's been wearing it consistently. She wore it consistently. That's unusual. I mean, a lot of uh, adolescents are fairly rebellious and yeah. unless they think it's cool and then they, it's only cool for a certain amount of time, you know, yeah. there, there isn't that consistency. So that's no, and I think that's what it gave her was the fact that um, I think she instinctively felt that it was important for her. Didn't your other daughter get one? No. Okay, so you only got one for one. Yeah, one. and I've noticed a difference. Yeah. Okay, so the other one is having a little bit of trouble in school and she's, she's having, you know, mm -hmm. a lot right. of uh, adolescent issues. Right. But it's hard to really quantify what you're saying in an empirical scientific manner. If we had like 50 mothers in a row who had 50 daughters who they gave Navratnas to then the story would you know, definitely be very um, double blind study grist for the mill but definitely what you say is, is interesting. Because the, the, the difference between her, uh, her personality now mm -hmm. and before is day and night. Really? I mean she went like it's hard to say that a child would um, Grow up this good, this fast. I'm moving towards 3,000 Navratnas now. Yeah. Have said to me, I've just got so much more confidence. Yeah. And I've had people say to me, I didn't have courage to quit my job and start this new profession yeah. because I just was too nervous and anxious about it. When I got the Navratna, I could see with clarity it was a good idea and I just went for it and it worked out. And I'm so happy I had the confidence. And you're talking about your daughter changing from a fairly anxiety driven young lady to one of being final self-possessed. Yeah, well, I don't think she would be as far in life now. She's like, she's admitted into college. She knew where she wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the most amazing things that happened is when she went, her counselor couldn't believe she was so um, matured and so self-confident and so driven. And, and it's not like she'll say she'll do something and she won't do it, she does it. It's interesting, one thing that you said about your daughter, and I get this a lot, is very often, especially a mother with their child, but it's the same with a husband and a wife, where the wife will wear it and they'll like it and they'll feel it's good, and the, but the husband will go, it's incredible, she's changed so much. Yeah. And vice versa, I've had that, where the person wearing it doesn't notice it as much as the person closely, intimately involved. Yeah. It's very unusual karma, incredible blessing at her age in, you know, middle America, as it were, yeah. to be utilizing an instrument like that and to be ignoring the peer influences of her contemporaries too Seriously. who don't wear that kind of jewelry. I mean they you know they probably don't think it's very goth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think that's one of the smartest decisions I made as a parent for her because if we just think about it Nick, we buy our kids so many things like iPhones, um, you know, diamonds and yeah. stuff at, at an early age. Yeah, I've never seen a Navratna in a garage sale yet. You might have a point, <laughs> but I'm looking. <laughs> so I think it was the best investment in her future. Yeah. And I think I, w I will highly encourage a lot of parents to get that for them. Because they're at a tender age where I feel that some of the karma that they could get into is already well, being softened yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you think of a young teenager and you think of the 
just intense sensual pressures of their peer groups that are attacking them and just bombarding them. And, yeah. and they're trying to fit in, but they're being bombarded with an unfair playing field. The vibratory magnetism of the environment is just sucking them in a certain direction. And if yeah. you have something influencing their electrical body that's allowing them to have more confidence and more idealistic and more healthy, yeah. which is exactly what the influence of gemstone radiations can do, yeah. they're going to be far more less magnetically attracted to that kind of vacuum cleaner that so many youth are going to Barring any scientific proof and knowing, it's just a knowing that you have, that you right. know that your child you know, just like when you cook something, you know it's going to taste good. Yeah, sure. Because you've made it. Yeah. And I didn't put as much effort into her as a mother as I could have because I was working. You were working really hard. Back yeah. Then. And I'm not saying leave your kids and buy them a Navratna. Sure. But it, if you're putting a little bit of effort into your children and you outfit them with something like this, you're giving them a 100% better chance of growing into a better person. Again, it's not the cure-all, but it's the most amazing thing that you can buy your children.